Hi, welcome back to the next assembly video of the Ergodox. So I was at, I spent a little bit more time in that bolt and I actually did get the 25 millimeter to go through. I tried a 30 millimeter and it was actually too long. It extended past the rubber foot, so that wouldn't have worked at all. I didn't feel like taking the time to cut it, so I just spent a little bit more time with the 25 and I was able to get it in. So anyway, so all the pads are in and all the bolts are in and it's looking pretty good so far. Um, Next, I'm going to install the keycaps. So there are um, about three different uh, sizes, I believe. There's, uh, I think this is called a two. These are called ones, and these, call, these are called one, one and a half. Those are just the size, so. All right, most of, most of the keys are the ones, and they just press press into the tops of the Cherry MX switches. Okay, so yeah, it looks like um, one and a half will go on that side. Now these keys that I got are actually all, um, oh, that one is different from the others, are all um, the same height. It is possible to get keys that are, that are different heights so that, um, you know, um, so you have like all your home row keys would be the lowest height, the next row would be a little higher. Also, these aren't printed. These are all just blank keys. But I've been touch typing in Dvorak for a few years now, and um, I have it down pretty well. So I don't really, I don't really need to see the keys to type well. Matter of fact, I found when I was first learning how to type in Dvorak, I actually um, typed on a keyboard on a on a QWERTY keyboard. And in a way, it kind of forced me to learn how to how to type because I couldn't see I couldn't see the keys. So I believe that the best way to learn a keyboard layout is to type with um, without printed keys. But there are a couple ways. You might be able to find um, an Ergodox kit that has printed keys, or um, you might um, you might be able to find. Oh, and you can certainly find stickers if you wanted to um, put stickers on the keys. It's always an option. And the twos actually go right here for the thumbs. These are the bigger keys. Those are the only two big ones, actually. And then you have um, the one and a halfs on this side and two one and a halfs here, and all the rest are just ones. I didn't actually go through and count my keys to make sure that I had all the keys I needed. Um, it might also be a good idea to get a, a, a keycap puller. Consider getting one. assembly part is really almost done here. That's just about it. Of course the software is going to be a whole nother a whole nother part of this process.
One thing I really like, like, like about this keyword that I'm looking forward to getting used to is actually having multiple um, thumb keys. Because typically, um, you know, you just have the space bar for your thumbs and that's, that's it. And I can actually do like space bar over here, maybe shift over here, and then uh, maybe control or backspace or delete. I think I will probably make, um, maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make this key backspace and this key delete. This is completely configurable, so it's possible to configure it how, however you want, which is pretty cool. Two of the keys are actually textured. I forgot about that. At this point, I, I wish I had a key puller. I don't know if I'm going to mess that up trying to pull that out of there like that. There we go. Oh, shoot, I did. I oh, hope that's okay. Um, and so, two of these are actually textured. A little differently than the others for the home key. Cool. Well, that is the completed product. And so, you know, next, I'm just going to go through this real quick. You know, you can get these cables in all different sizes, and I might get a longer one or perhaps a shorter one. This is the TRRS cable. So one will plug in right here, and the other will plug in right here. And that'll connect the two halves of the keyboard together. Oh, it's gonna be nice. All right. This is um, the mini USB cable. This will plug in right here. And then this will plug into the computer. And that'll do it. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, spacebar keys are sort of farther apart. Yeah, because normally I keep my thumbs about right here, so I'm going to have to get used to spreading them out a little bit. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. Uh, I can't wait to give this a try. All right, so that takes care of it. This thing is fully assembled. Hopefully I won't have to do any debugging or anything. I think I did a, I did a pretty good job in making sure that I caught all my errors and fixed them. And I'm actually glad that I did make some errors so that I could show you how to do the repairs. Um, but it probably would have been better just to be a little bit more careful. Anyway, so in the next video, um, I will install all the software and I'll show you how to do all of it from the very beginning. I'm not going to do anything without you. So stay tuned and uh, have fun. Thanks for watching.